Action Namibia Collision, Rodrigo Lynx, has found three serious flaws with the Whistleblower Protection Act that was tabled in National Assembly on February 16th. The first concern is Section 52, 1D, states the disclosure of improper conduct principally involves questioning the merit of government policy, including the policy of a public body. The whistleblower is perceived to um, be criticizing government policy. Um, so basically, I mean, if you, if you were to um, speak out, this is how we understand this, if you were to speak out about, for instance, um, mismanagement of funds on a, on a, on a, a government uh, expenditure scheme, um, you could be, it could be construed as, 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 as um, criticizing budgetary policy. Lynx also stressed that more independent bodies should have criticized the bill before it was tabled. Through this bill, um, on set up as in independent um, uh, uh, bodies, as in the case of, say, the Ombudsman in the Constitution, um, they, they, they fall under a, a, a political um, department, under a, a government department, not a political, a government department, um, which which creates um, which creates the uh, the atmosphere for political interference um, and for 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 the for the uh, the actors in these in this in these bodies to to uh, be cautious of of political uh, um, of, of, of politicians and, and, and they might um, feel the need to uh, defer to um, the superiors. Lynx wants this bill to be subjected to a standing committee and for public hearings to be conducted for the public's input.